Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa barak. Ala al-ashraf al-anbiya wa ramu al-salina nabina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam taslima kathira. Amma ba'd. Fadillahi alhamd. We find ourselves again discussing some of the fawaid and the ta'aliqat, the commentary of our Shaykh, Shaykh Rabi'i. Hafidahullah Ta'ala upon some of the ayat of the Quran that were recited to him in these jalsat in Ramadan 1430 Hijri. And he goes on to discuss some of the commentary upon the ayat of Surah Al Fatih. And he mentions. He mentioned, Hafidahullah, who answered Alihi, who are the Ashabi here, Sakina, Rodia Anhom, Fihadi Surah, the Surah Al Fatih, that this, no doubt, was revealed to the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and it was brought to the companion upon an affair of Sakina tranquility. And Allah Ta'ala mentioned. The fact that he's pleased with them within the surah. If he had a rod, and al Mujrimi min al Rawafid adat Muhammad wa ashabi, and so within this is a refutation and a rejection of the Rawafid, those that are no doubt no al Mujrimi, the criminals amongst the, Mar- the Rawafid, that are in reality are adat, that are enemies to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions. وَأَدَاوَةَ الشَّدِيدَ هَذِهِ الْحَدَفْ مِنْهَا And so, the hadaf and the goal that they have in terms of their manhaj and that, that, that which they upon the Rafila is that they have this enmity, this severe enmity upon the Messenger of Allah and his companions. Now, Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم وَمَا جَعَ بِهِ But they have enmity to that which the Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم came with, but that which he came or the, the Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم, but that which he came with. لأن هذا الدين دين الروافد اخترعه الزنادق واليهود والمجرمون. And so as for the deen of the Rafida, then the deen of the Rafida was brought about and it was established by way of the heretics, the Yehud, the Jews, as well as the general people that are regarded as being criminals in deen amongst the people. وحدفهم إسقاط محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وإسقاط رسالته وإسقاط رسالته and so the intent and the goal with these individuals from the Rawafid is that they seek to bring down Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم as well as his message نعم ولكن لا يجرؤون أن يواجهوا الأمة بهذا الأصول ف يجتهون لأصحاب أبي أبي بكر لأصحابه أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وغيرهم رضي الله عنهم. And so they're not able to attack the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in this manner, I directly and attack his message directly. And so as a means of directing the uslub that is used, the manner in which is which is used to direct to direct the attack towards the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Is to attack his companions, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, uh, Ali, and other than them, Rodi Law Anhu, Rodi Ali, Rodi Law Anhu, Yahuluna Fihi, Kaliban, Wazoran, Wafujura. And so, in relation to Ali, then you find that what they do is that they have, they are excessive and extreme in relation to Ali, Rodi Law Anhu. And so, they invent lies about Ali. And give false witness in relation to Ali رضي الله عنه. When you call below him and Khawarij Aidan, yet to unknown if you ask Habib Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم, and that which is in relation to them, I know that meets with them in terms of this deviation are the Khawarij. I in terms of the deviation in relation to their tiqad in relation to the companions رضي الله عنه. هذه شهادات لأصحاب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم بأن الله قد رضي رضي عنهم. and so what is known and what is what is bear witness to is that the Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم 
and his companions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has mentioned that he's pleased with them. وَعَنْزَلْ عَلَيْهِمَ السَّكِينَةِ and descended upon this affair of tranquility. As Allah Ta'ala mentions, Muhammad al-Rasulullah, وَالَّذِينَ مَعَهُ أَشِدَّا عَلَى الْكُفَّارِ رُحَمَا بَيْنَهُمْ تَرَاهُمْ رُقْعًا سُجَّدًا يَبْتَغُونَ فَضْلًا مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا سِيْمَاهُمْ فِي وُجُوهِهِمْ مِنْ أَفْرِ السُّجُودِ ذَلَكَ مَفْرُوهُمْ فِي التَّوْرَةِ I saw Allah Ta'ala mention, Muhammad is a messenger of Allah. And those that are with him are who <coughs> are whom are severe upon the disbelievers and they have mercy amongst themselves. And you find that they are individuals that are in the ruku' and the sujood and in the salah. They can bow in the ruku' frustrating the sujood, seeking the 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 fadl, the virtue from their Lord, seeking the virtue from Allah and His pleasure. You find upon their faces the effects and the remnants of their ibadah and their sujood. This is the example that there is mentioned of them in the Torah. And so, no doubt, this is the praise. This is the praise of these individuals. I his companions, the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the book of Allah. And Malik, rahimahullah, Malik, rahimahullah, he mentions, I this ayah is a delil upon the takfir of the rawafid. I this ayah is a delil, is a proof that the rawafid are made takfir of. It's mentioned, in a Sunnah of Khalal. Then the Thana al Atir al Ashabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the proof, or this is the, 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 the praise, the grandest praise and beautified praise for the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa hadi ishara to be him, because it was a way al Qadima. وفي القرآن مما يغيف الروافل ويغيف القفار. And so this no doubt is a praise and a commendation that is found from these companions I mentioned within the Qutub al-Samawiyya al-Qadima. So from the Qutub that are mentioned, I the Qutub that revealed previously, the Torah, the Injil, that the companions are mentioned even in these books. And the author of the companions are mentioned in these books. And so they are even within these books, they are praised. And no doubt, along with that, of course, the companions are praised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran in a manner which will cause no doubt the <coughs> Rawafid and the Kuffar to become enraged. I saw no doubt that this manner in which they are mentioned will enrage those that oppose them. And those that oppose them are from the as mentioned from the Kuffar, as Allah Ta'ala mentioned. And we understand along with that, that the Rawafid are from amongst those that oppose them as well, these companions. As they mentioned along with the Kuffar. First, the Dalabi had the ayat, Al Al Kufri Ha'ulai Bujrimi. Wunahnu Nukafir Ulama'ahu, Wa Du'atahu. وَأَمَّا عَوَامُهُمْ الَّذِينَ لَا يُشَارِكُونَهُمْ فِي إِلْحَادِهِمْ وَكُفْرِهِمْ هَذَا نعم فَأَمَّا عَوَامُهُمْ الَّذِينَ لَا يُشَارِكُونَهُمْ فِي الْإِلْحَادِهِمْ وَالْكُفْرِهِمْ هَذَا وَرَافِدْ وَدُنَا وَلَكِنْ لَا نُكَفِّرُهُمْ Okay, so the Shaykh mentioned that these ayat are a proof for the kufr of the rafidah and the kufr of the rafidah However, Shaykh mentions, I Shaykh Rabi' Fidullah he mentioned, that we mentioned that those that are from the ulama and the du'at of the rafidah, I, the, the, those that are the, the scholars amongst the rafidah, those that are the coolest amongst the rafidah, then we make takfir of them. Now, we declare them to be disbelievers. As for the general people that are amongst them, that 
are not, that do not agree in this affair of deviation and rejection, I relation and rejection of Allah Ta'ala and what Allah Ta'ala sent. And, does not, and do they do not agree with them in terms of that kufr? Then no doubt we do not make takfir of these individuals. I those that are not it that do not reach that extent of uh excessiveness and extremism to the extent where they seek to change the Quran and to deviate from the Quran. And likewise, these are the individuals that do not speak ill of the wives of the Prophet nor do they curse the companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And they are saying that these individuals now, these individuals from Rawafira, them and their shubahat become widespread. Now it becomes spread and <coughs> you find that what they are upon becomes widespread upon the earth. Now to an extent that is reached now different different nations across the earth due to the da'wah of the Quran of Muslim. And he goes on to mention that it's reached Mr. the region is reached uh, uh, Egypt, Sudan, Morocco, Algeria, Palestine, Afghanistan. These are all examples of where this da'wah, this evil speech in relation to the companions has reached. By way of the Allah, the, the tool being used in that regard is the da'wah of the Ikhwan al-Muslim. Because the da'wah of the Ikhwan al-Muslim, barakallahu fikum, is a da'wah based upon the qa'ida batila, yani of ma'adira wa ta'ala. Where they, they have a qa'ida which is which is which basically states that we allow and we forgive one another and we look past that which we disagree upon, but we come together upon what we agree upon, and so they will state this a particular qaida upon, and this particular qaida batila is based upon another qaida batila, which is al which is the qaida al ghaya to barriru al wasila, al ghaya to barriru al wasila. Yeah, and it's based upon the false principle that the ends justifies the means. So they will state the ends is that we want the unity of the Muslims. Anyone that is in Islam, anyone that associates and ascribes to Islam, we want unity of the Muslims. How do we attain this unity, they'll say, is that we will have to leave off that which we disagree upon. Turn a blind eye to that which we disagree upon. And come together upon what we agree upon. And so this is what this is how this they uh, established that particular principle. How this is linked to this affair of the Rafida? Because no doubt the Rafida are Muntasibun in Islam. They ascribe to Islam. The Rafida will say that we're Muslims. And so within, within that claim, then when they seek to be amongst the Muslims, the Da'wah the Quran the Muslimin is a door and a means to that. Because well, they will say, leave off that which we disagree upon. Okay, we disagree about the affair of the companions. Leave that alone. But let's come together with what we agree upon. We agree about the affair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We agree that we worship Allah. We agree that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. And so we come together upon that. And we leave off the, what, the affair that we disagree upon. However, the affair that we disagree upon, the affair of the companions, as mentioned here, is an affair of our usul. It's an affair of our foundation. That an individual from Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah cannot be understood to be from Ahlul Sunnah if he has enmity to the court towards the companions, or if he rejects the companion, or if he is from the individual where Billah curses the companions. So how can we come together upon this, this, this affair? Rather, unity can only be upon the usul. And this is why the Shaykh mentioned that khatat, the danger found within the da'wah of the Quran and Muslimin. Why? Because this da'wah, that particular principle, opens the door for anyone from amongst those that are munharifun to enter upon the ranks of Islam and spread their da'wah, spread their shubahat in the name of Islam. And so these individuals now will go to put upon the different lands of the Muslims, 
with this particular doubt, with this particular this particular etiquette in relation to the companions. And we mentioned that these individuals are individuals that were praised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only praised by Allah ta'ala in the Quran, but praised by Allah ta'ala in the Torah and the Injil. And the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so if we understand that, then we understand that no one is able to speak ill of them except that they deviate from the haq. And this is the, the central point that the Shaykh has mentioned in just uh, what we wanted to mention here as a small uh, benefit, barakallahu fiqh, in relation to our itikad, our creed, in relation to the companions and the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam, wa barakallahu fiqh. نعم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقدع وانا الحمد لله رب العالمين بارك الله فيك